to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my FabFitFun Fall 2020 box and add-ons finally. It arrived. I got an email from them apologizing, saying that there were some COVID issues. They were working on taking precautions and it was causing delays and getting their shipments out. Anyway, I got it and I got it before the edit sale opened, so that's really good. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start by showing you the add-ons that I got. I didn't get too, too many. I can't recall what I spent this time. I'll, I'll put what I spent on each item in the description box below as usual. So the first thing, I got the Laura Geller Lash Boss Max Mascara. It had really great reviews and I want to try some Laura Geller products. I recently just tried one of her lipsticks and I was really impressed with the packaging. The lipstick was good. It was a cream lipstick though and I don't prefer cream lips lipsticks so it's not for me but I really like the packaging. <laughs> so this is, it's a very simple packaging for the mascara and let's look at what the wand looks like. Oh, it's very straight. You can probably see that. I don't need to hold that any closer. And I'm already wearing mascara, otherwise I would try it now on camera, but I will tell you what I think in a product review video down the road. So I got that. I am loving the London Town Lacquer nail polishes, and they had a trio of nudes, so I got this. Excuse my little boo-boo there. I got in a fight with the conditioner bottle in the shower, and the conditioner bottle won. Anyway, so I got this. It was a little three-pack. I'm excited. I'm returning to work on Monday after maternity leave. So I want to do my nails before I return to work. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Gel Mask. And I really liked this mask when I purchased it in a sale before. It was maybe a year ago. I've been waiting for it to show up in a sale again. And when I had it, I didn't think too much of it. I enjoyed using it. But ever since I finished it, I missed having it and I don't have any other mask like it. It's just a really cooling, relaxing, soothing mask for your face. A very simple, typical Grown Alchemist packaging. Oh, that way. So I ordered two of these and I'm very excited. It's, it's great. It kind of feels kind of like how really nice cooling under eye patches feel when you use them to soothe your under eyes. It feels like that all over your face. It's really, really lovely. And I, I haven't tried another mask any, like it at all. So I got two of those. And then I got the Freya Awaken Arousal Oil with CBD. I am going to be 38 in a couple weeks and my husband is older than I am. He's 54 actually. So, you know, intimacy, life changes. And I thought that this might be kind of interesting to try out. It has really excellent, excellent reviews. If you can't guess, you put it on your lady parts and it's supposed to help when you are intimate with your partner. So it just looks like this. I'll let you know what I think of this too. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of product review videos so that I can actually tell you what I think of these products. So the next thing is I got this Bathorium, I think it's a five pack of their bath soaks. Are they salt? I can't even remember. It just says bath soaks, Bathorium Crush. And I got this because I thought that they would be good little additions to Christmas presents. You know, give somebody a Christmas present and then you give this also kind of as a little added bonus to what you give them. So there are five in this pack. Let's see what the scents are. And it comes with a little 20% off coat. You can use it here. I'm going to give it to you. It's FFF20 on the Bathorium website will get you 20% off. It's probably good for anyone who wants to use it, so there you go. But these had really, really good reviews and people were saying wonderful things about the Bathorium products on the forum. So there's Sea Kelp Serenity, Ancient Oat Hydration, Northern Sage Recovery, Eucalyptus Apothecary, and Charcoal Garden Detox. I may end up using them before I have a chance to gift them to anyone. And then I got for myself the Bathorium Milk. It's a mineral milk bath, coconut and bourbon vanilla. So again, people are saying great things about the Bathorium products on the forum and just in general and reviews. Then I got, I really, I talk about this all the time. I'm a big fan of putting on some sort of nourishing lip balm or ointment or oil or something on my lips every night before I go to bed. And I ran out of the Grown Alchemist one I was using and I 
had a Joy one that I really liked and I'm running out of that one. So I needed a new one. This is the Image Skincare or Medic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. And I'll see if it works the way I'm hoping it will. It's specifically designed to enhance the appearance and volume of lip contours. This ultra hydrating powerful polypeptide complex will add up to 40% of moisture volume with repeat usage. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Diminishes fine lines as well as reduces inflammation after lip injections. Use of product will implement, nope, complement and enhance the effects of professional dermal fillers. Oh, well, I don't have those, but I did see a lot of people saying really good things about this little guy. So it's just a little too, and I'm gonna use this every night. I will let you know what I think. And then I got something else from Grown Alchemist that I haven't tried yet. I love trying their products. I don't love every single one of their products. You'll see a lot of people talking about how they love anything Grown Alchemist. I don't love anything Grown Alchemist, but I like a lot of their products and I think they're a wonderful brand. So this is the Grown Alchemist Enzyme Exfoliant Papain and Amino Complex, a gentle and completely granule-free exfoliant formulated to even skin tone and smooth fine lines and wrinkles. This complex blend of fruit extracts noticeably hydrates facial skin while gently dissolving dead skin cell bonds, resulting in enhanced cell renewal. Suitable for use around the eyes and for all skin types, including the most sensitive conditions. So papain, I think is papaya if I remember correctly. It looks just like this, again, simple grown up alchemist packaging. So I think it's just a chemical exfoliant face wash type deal, but I will let you know what I think. Oh, I've been wanting to try the fat boy stuff. And somebody said in a comment on my product review video that the tacky oil works really well for curly hair. So I'm gonna try this. I am not sure what I'll think. I did see some reviews that says you can still kind of feel it in your hair. It's called tacky oil after all, but it might work. Obviously I have curly hair. I am having some postpartum hair loss, so it is quite a bit thinner. And I also am having like super long growth from quarantine, <laughs> so my hair is looking a little different but anyway so I'll let you know what I think of that and then I also got the fat boy styling cream and I if you are new to my channel I always say that styling creams work so well in curly hair so I got this it is a really generous size tube and I am really excited to try this I'm kind of a sucker for hair products yeah 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 I am I certainly am okay so that's it from the add-ons from the actual sales so this is the box so here is the magazine Padma Lakshmi's on the front and I'm gonna keep this handy so I can tell you about the products if you want to know that kind of detail I will definitely share it so get ready so for the first selection, I picked this Bakke, Bakir tote, and it smells chemically, like it just came out of a factory. Woo. Whoa, it really does. And this is like a department store brand. You can find it, I believe, at JCPenney and places like that. So that's what I picked for the first choice. Leather handles. Let's take a look on the inside. It's nylon on the outside. And then it's just like one big pocket and it has some side pockets. This is one of those ones where a purse organizer might be kind of helpful to have, but this is good. Who doesn't want one of these tote bags? And there's a zipper on the side. Why is there a zipper on the side. It's just a detail. It doesn't do anything. It's not functional at all. Is there one on the other side? There's a zipper on the other side. Also just for aesthetics. It, it is not functional. Okay. So that bag is worth $128. You could have also gotten their trigger backpack, which if I remember correctly from their website, it was kind of the signature item for this brand. It's right here above my injured finger. And that retails for $100. You could have gotten the Foxy Bay curling wand right there. And Foxy Bay tools seem to have good reviews in general, and that's worth $99. You could have gotten the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and their huge extreme lash mascara and that retails for $45 right there and then you could have gotten the uncommon James set of two copper canisters that retail for $49 these are they. Kristen Cavallari, I think. She was a reality star from Laguna Beach. That's her company, Uncommon James. And then you could have gotten the Sacha Wan Styling Cream and Finish Cream, and it's right there. They have really 
simple packaging. It's a couple of hairstylists. They have a salon in Sweden, I want to say. And one person's name is Sacha, another one's name Juan, so hence the name Sacha Juan. And that retails for $65. I almost got those because like I said, I'm a sucker for hair care, but because I'm a sucker for hair care, I have plenty of products. I don't need to add that on as well. And then you could have gotten the Mia Melange foldable cotton basket that retails for $60. And the picture is right here. It is cute, made in South Africa. And then for the second option, I got the Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. So there's the box. And the bottle looks like this. Super simple. It's available at Sephora, I believe. At Sephora or Ulta, I often mix it up, but I think it was Sephora for Dr. Dennis Gross. And it had great reviews, and it retails for $65. I am also a sucker for skincare, and you could have also gotten the Beyond Yoga Hidden Pocket Infinity Scarf, which retails for $59.95. Picture is right there, so it has a zipper with a pocket inside of it. Or you could have gotten the Glossmetics Hair Removal Device for $59.99. That's this one. The thing about this one is I'm pretty sure it's just a shaver. I couldn't see anything about it being an epilator. If it were an epilator, I would have gotten it. Or you could have gotten the Soya and Kyo woven scarf again with a fringe. And that is also like a department store brand, like the Bakier or Bakier, however you say it. It's right there. They have a picture of it folded up, which is kind of interesting. You can't really get an idea of it. That retails for $85. Or you could have gotten the Volition Beauty Celery Green Cream, which retails for $55. This is a clean beauty line that's available at Sephora. And I didn't get that one because it is definitely more for oilier skin or combination skin even, and I have dry skin. It's an oil-free moisturizer, so I didn't get that one. Or you could have gotten the Erno Laszlo Pore Cleansing Clay Mask. It retails for $48 right there. And that one I didn't get because I'm cruelty free and Erno Laszlo in about 2017, I want to say, started selling in China. So it made their cruelty free status kind of questionable or it, it, it took it away actually because if you sell in China, your products are potentially subject to animal testing. So I didn't get it for that reason. And I also did read a lot of reviews and some of the reviews said that it smells like rose and I am not too big of a fan of rose scented stuff. For the third choice, I got two things and I got both of the pieces of jewelry, which kind of goes against what I say about FabFitFun jewelry. It really bothers me that a lot of the retail prices of the jewelry are really, really high when you look at what the material is that the jewelry is made out of and it's brass or an alloy or a zinc or something like that. This is the case with these two things but they were really pretty really cute looked kind of giftable. The retail value on this first one it's the Jenny Bird Austin cuff. It does come with a nice little pouch it feels good. So here is the cuff. It retails for $135. I'm gonna put it on. So here it is. Oh, it looks a little punk rock, which, oh man, there was a time in my life where I would have loved it. It is very, very cute. Retails for $135, and then I also got the pendant, which retails for $115. So let's look at the pendant. So that looks pretty too, very reflective. Okay, there it is. Oh, my necklace is turned around. Okay, there it is. It's really pretty. I like how this doesn't hang too low so you don't have to wear a super cleavage -y shirt in order for it to show. That is very pretty. These are very, very pretty. It just, it bothers me that, you know, at that retail price, it should at least be made of sterling silver or something. I mean, this is a lot of metal. So this I could see being stainless steel or something. Anyway, I gotta stop talking about that. Okay, so these are the two things I got from this choice. You could have also gotten the Vitamin Masks Multivitamin Mask Set for $40. That's it right there. You could have also gotten the Nectar Sunglasses Blue Light Blocking Glasses in Brown Tortoise. For, they retail for $45 right there. I have these, love them. They're very lightweight and they help with blue light really, really well. Or you could have gotten the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Puddin' Palette and that retails for $38 and that's right there. 
and I have heard good things about this palette. I did hear that there was some sort of controversy with the brand lately. I'm not going to get into that. So for the next choice, I got the Skin & Co Whipped Cleansing Cream. And I am really glad I finally decided to try this. I've seen it in so many sales and just passed it up. I was passing up Skin & Co because there was a body wash that was available in a box like two years ago. And that was my first box and it got so much criticism and then just the brand in my head kind of had a bad name because of that but apparently they're a really good brand and this has a lot of really good reviews and it's a cream cleanser which I love because cream cleansers are great for dry skin which is me so I got that and that retails for $28 and it has great reviews on Sephora you could have also gotten the Mason Tops glass water bottle uh, in turquoise worth $35 that's that guy right there you could have gotten the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel which is right there or you could have gotten the feel beauty renewed pumpkin walnut facial cleanser which is right here which has little pieces of ground walnut in it which I don't think is very good for your skin to rub something like that on it or like ground up apricot seed it could really cause small lacerations on your skin barrier. I don't know. I just don't think that this is such a good thing. I'm surprised that it actually even exists. I could be wrong. I'm no dermatologist. I'm no esthetician, but it doesn't feel right intuitively. But people do really, really like it. And then you could have gotten the Frank Body Original Coffee Scrub, which retails for $16.95. And it's this one, which I've seen in many, many sales as well. The Frank Body is an Australian company, I believe, and they're available at Sephora and or Ulta. I often mix it up. But a lot of the reviews, while they say it's a really nice scrub to use, they say it's really, really messy. So I do have it. A subscriber friend sent it to me, so I am excited to try it. And then for the next choice, I really didn't know what to get for this choice. I really didn't know. But I got the 8 Other Reasons Hair Clips. And these retail for $32. Let's put some hair clips in my hair now. These better be amazing. $32 and there are three in here. They feel pretty sturdy. I mean, it's got a good little spring to it. I don't even know what I'll use this for. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. We shall see. You could have gotten the hip cutlery set, which retails for $14.99 which is just like this. Or you could have gotten the NCLA So Rich Cuticle Oil and Horchata, which is right there. That retails for $18. Or you could have gotten the Liquid RX Stress Reliever 100% Natural Ayurvedic Hair Oil, which retails for $75. If you got this, comment below. Let me know why, let me know what you think. Have you tried it yet? So curious, I couldn't find very much information at all on it. And then the next thing you could have gotten are the Harper and Ari Exfoliating Sugar Cubes and Juice Cleanse. These retail for $16. These were in a box before. For the next choice, this one FabFitFun picked for you. So for this one, you could have either gotten the Vosch New York's Pedicure in a Box Duo in Pumpkin Spice, which is what I had hoped for, I didn't get that it retails for $20 and it's this one right here, little four pack pedicures. Oh my gosh, since the quarantine, I didn't know how important pedicures were in my life. My feet kind of look like an ogre's feet. I mean, they're not that bad, but just compared to how they used to look, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with it on my, on my own. Or you could have gotten the Laundress New York Crease Release that retails for $16. It looks like this. I was kind of hoping for this one too. I would have been happy with this one as well, just because I heard that it really works. You spray it on and instead of having to use a steamer, this takes out creases in your clothes so it would be awesome to travel with and then the last thing you could have gotten is a sponge jelly box flower and sweet cedar wood and that retails for $16 and that's what I got of the choices this is not the one that I wanted it smells really good maybe I'll go ahead and try a sponge gel after all but I just I don't know I'm not into the idea of them oh and then for the next one you could have gotten the nature lab Tokyo perfect repair treatment mask which retails for $16 and it looks like this right here 
Or you could have gotten the Stone Candles Room Spray in Pumpkin Spice, which is what I got. Or, oh no, I got the other scent. I did get one of the room sprays, which, and these room sprays retail for 36. So you could have gotten one in Pumpkin Spice or you could have gotten one in Santal Noir. Musky, Sandalwood and Cardamom. <laughs> A little too close to my face. I like it. I like it a lot. That's pleasant. Danielle Stone's Centel Room Spray conjures a complex sandalwood fragrance with a spicy cardamom top note. The body of the fragrance is an amber sandalwood complex enhanced by a light floral orchid sex accord. Accord. Floral orchid accord. The dry down of amber musk supports the fragrance mango, blossom, and strawberries into a base of vanilla and musky notes. And then you could have gotten the Heist Tranquility Sleep Mist, which retails for $22. And it looks like that. And then for the very last choice, you could have gotten the Beauty Papier Golden Superfood Shower Gel, which retails for $30. And that is this pretty one right here. Or you could have gotten the Ziggy and Maurice Pouch with Stripe, and that retails for $30. And that's right here. And something that FabFitFun isn't making very apparent, I figured this out based on research I did, and this is actually a pouch for glasses. It is by the same company that makes a lot of the blue light blocking glasses that were available in the sales. So if you got those and you got this, you can put those in this. And I really liked that brand. They have some charitable causes that they support, which was awesome too. Or you could have gotten, which is what I got, the Beauty Crop Glow Milk in Blind Date. Enriched with coconut, this highlighter gives you a lit from within glow and it retails for $19.50. Ooh, do I wanna open it and show you what it looks like or do I wanna save it for a giveaway? Well, that's what the packaging looks like. Glow Milk is liquid radiance in a bottle. Create a long-lasting lit from within look with our champagne-colored liquid highlighter. Enriched with coconut, Glow Milk hydrates while illuminating the skin. Achieve a healthy, luminous glow by brushing three dots of our illuminating milk on the high points of your face and collarbone. Blend with your fingertips for a natural radiance. Repeat for a more dramatic strobing effect. Sounds lovely. If I do decide to open it, I will definitely, like I said, I do review videos. I will let you know what I think, but I'm gonna leave this one sealed. It could go in a giveaway at some point. I, which I need to do a giveaway. I'd like to do a giveaway. Be on the lookout for a giveaway. And then it always comes with some like coupons. So this is $80 off for HelloFresh. There's the coupon code if you can see that and you wanna try to use it. Be my guest. Or you can, I'm gifting you $15 off your first box. So you can give this to a friend. Use it, it might be one time use. The first person to see it who wants to use it, go ahead and try. And that is everything. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Oh, this looks kind of cool. This looks kind of cool. I got my, my queen shirt on. My queen shirt. I look so punk rock. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.